So now we're looking at IVR or interactive voice response, more commonly known as auto attendance. So right now I have one that's defined as unnamed. Um, and there's some instructions here and you want to read these just to remind yourself what the different options are and what they do. But I'm going to walk through creating an example just so you see. So I click on add IVR and it's going to come up with a brand new one. I'm going to name it. So let's call it like main auto attendant which is a common one. I could pick a system greeting so I just pick one that I have recorded here. Uh, and then I have a variety of different things that I could decide what I'm going to do with and the defaults are normally pretty good but you could decide to edit it edit this to your content basically how long is it before uh, if a caller makes no choices does it time out do you want to the caller to have access to a directory do you want um, if someone goes to voicemail and they uh, zero out of voicemail do you want it to come back to this IVR or do you want it to go to an operator you can make all those dif different choices um, one thing that we find that we uh, install a lot or use a lot is this uh, right here this loop before T destination which means that um, when somebody does time out do you want it to loop and you're able to do that and how many loops do you want it to go with this repeat loops so let's take a look at our different options so right now I have no options defined so it's basically an auto attendant that just has a greeting but say that if some if I wanted one for sales I could type a one there and maybe click on my ring group here for sales and then poof when they press one it'll go to sales maybe I want two for customer complaints and I could just click here for terminate call so they press two and off they go or maybe I want to uh, go to three here for my customer service queue and I have you know a ring group or a queue defined with customer service and I could do that as well I might maybe I decide that I want to have a T destination which is basically if they time out where do I want it to go if they don't press any buttons which is good you know I don't know who still owns a rotary phone but somebody somewhere has a rotary phone so if they don't press a, a, a tone on their telephone you could have it go to your operator or maybe to the sales group to sell them a phone anytime you make a change to your IVR you want to click the save button and then you also want to go up here and click the uh, apply configuration changes now uh, IVRs can be used as destinations for incoming call routes so basically you program the IVR you go into the incoming call route you set up the incoming call route and as soon as you hit save these things are active so it's really quick and easy to set up and get going